Welcome back. Hope you're having a good morning. Well, uh, we have listed on all the top stocks that we are tracking for you. So let's get straight to some more fundamental analysis. Deepan Mehta, Director of Alexa Equities, joins us on the show. Hi, Deepan. Good morning and good to see you. When let's talk about the big nifty name, HUL. The numbers were weakish. The commentary as well quite subdued, particularly with regard to urban India. What's your view on the stock? I ask you this in the backdrop that the stock has collected uh, close to 12% in the last one month itself. So your view on it. Yeah, Nigel, good morning and thank you for having me on your show. No, I think there's uh, the results are very disappointing. I, we saw the same situation in Nestle as well. And the problem with HUL, Nestle and the host of other FMCG stocks is that most of their products are mature and whatever gains they have to make over the last decade by expanding to the rural areas, all those gains have got captured in the earnings. And now they're going more or less in line with consumption patterns uh, of products which are already mature. And from that point of view, it's very difficult for HUL or similar peer group companies to grow volume by more than a low single digit as well. So in such a situation, from an investor's perspective, it doesn't make sense to remain invested in HUL or Nestle or some of the other FMCG stocks. I think it's better to move on. There are so many more choices when it comes to playing consumption. It's not like back in the 80s and 90s where only FMCG was there. So I think investors should be overweight to nil weight on such uh, MNC FMCG uh, stocks for the time being. Deepan, hi. Uh, good morning. Let, let's talk about slightly happier things. And I think Midcap IT gave us plenty of reasons to smile yesterday, right? Uh, so how do you look at it? I mean, uh, is it just a company-specific thing? Coforge, for instance, sounding so com you know optimistic and confident, even persistent, great numbers. Uh, how would you look at IT? What, what would you buy, not buy? What's the advice here? Yes, it'll be good morning. You know, I've been watching IT for the last whatever from 20, from 2000, almost 25 years. And whenever there was a boom in IT stocks, uh, stock prices, as well as the industry, it was the large cap IT stocks which did better than the mid cap IT stocks. Their valuations were higher, their growth rates were higher. But last two, three years, the phenomena has changed completely. And now the growth rates, the valuations, the uh, kind of quality factors of the mid-cap IT companies is far superior than large-cap IT. I think from an investor's perspective, you need to be into, into a basket of mid-cap IT in order to play that particular investment theme. And uh, companies like Coforge, Tata Alexi, Persistent Systems, KPIT, the common thread here is they are focusing on a specific vertical or a specific technology, and they're able to compete with the, all the biggies in the industry, the larger, larger software companies. And the important thing is low base effects. So even $20, $50 million contracts can make a difference. They're able to even attract talent as well. So very positive on mid-cap IT, just wanting to buy them at reasonable valuations in that PEG ratio of two times or so. Right now, I think they're going at about three times price to earnings to growth. So I think if they correct a little bit further because of overall market conditions, then that's one segment of the market one can be overweight in. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Deepan, hi, morning. Uh, so, uh, Paytm, there's uh, I think Cities uh, came out, come out with this upgrade uh, call after the relaxation came from uh, NPCI uh, with regards to onboarding UPI customers. What's your uh, what's your call? Uh, stocks done uh, well. I mean, uh, from the lows, of course, it's done well. But uh, uh, but your call? Yeah, Prashant, you know, looking at the overall market sentiment appears to be weak and we may be in for a correction. I'm not I'm not convinced that one should buy the new age uh, technology stocks. The, even Zomato, although we have an investment as a measure of disclosure, but Zomato, Paytm, Policy Bazaar, I think these are companies where uh, although growth is there, but, you know, valuations are always a concern and this entire uh, correction which we have seen is on account of valuation concerns. So from that point of view, I want to be tactically underweight, the likes of Paytm, Zomato, Policy Bazaar, other new age uh, tech companies. Uh, you could see a deeper correction over there. And although underlying growth rates are steady, uh, but base effect also is catching up. And in markets like this, now you need to focus on companies with solid earnings, good quality businesses, which, can, uh, which may be available at reasonable valuations, which you have missed out on perhaps earlier. Okay. Uh, all right, Deepan, stay on. Uh, you know, we have a lot more questions for you, but let's just... Welcome back. Well, uh, Deepan Mehta is still in conversation with us. Deepan, I uh, wanted to ask you about this travel theme. You know, uh, there are two airlines. Some are betting on, uh, you know, on SpiceJet coming back as well. 
how do you approach this travel theme? And also a word on the luggage space, that entire shift from unorganized to organized. Safari gained considerable market share. Some would believe VIP at this price is attractive. But how would you approach it between airlines, luggage? Do you like any of them? Yeah, Nigel, I think this travel and tourism is a great investment theme to play. And, you know, post-COVID, we have seen very good growth rates coming through over there. And, of course, I think our preference is for the largest airline company, that's Indigo. But the SpiceJet, you know, it all depends upon execution and if how they're able to regain the market share. A lot of uncertainties over there, but could be a dark horse. But from an investor's perspective, I think if you want a stable stock for a long-term three, five-year type of outlook, then I would still go with Indigo. And there are some niche companies, you know, like uh, in the travel tech space, uh, not a, a disclosure we may be invested in it, is rate gain technologies. Yeah, and uh, that offers a platform for a lot of the uh, travel tourism related businesses to kind of uh, manage their uh, software requirements. It's the, that's an interesting play. Uh, at the same time, I think hotel companies, especially Indian hotels, looks very interesting, although growth rates have petered off, but long-term trajectory looks very interesting. And new ideas, I think uh, we are looking for in the travel and tourism space. Another interesting company is this visa processing company called BLS International. Uh, you know, that also is growing extremely well. So we need to find niches over there, but this is one investment theme we should be overweight on. Okay. Uh, Deepan, yeah, you said it. I was just thinking in my head that, you know, listening to all the consumer slowdown talk that ultimately, where is the money going? And I was just thinking this in the break. It's going to travel. That's why people are spending. And like it's, like Manglam was saying, it's going to the jewelers. And maybe it's going to property. People are still buying houses, right? And uh, you I can add air conditioners. Air conditioners. Air so. conditioners. So you want to leave us with a, with a stock name if you want to play that... Uh, RAC play, air conditioning play, then which one will you go with all out expensive. of the several available options? They're all, they're all well discovered and all very expensive, right? <laughs> From Blue Star to Voltas to Amber, I think, uh, you know, there is really nothing. I mean, it's all well discovered. They're quoting at 70, 80 times. A lot of growth rates have got captured. Only there's EPAC, EPAC quality. also, right? Now there's yeah. EPAC. They're going to build ACs with high sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. All right, uh, Deepan, uh, great having you on this morning. Thanks Thank very much. You have a good day and uh, we look forward to chatting again soon. Well, from fundamental...